Hello, my other self, and welcome to your Mother Earth ASMR Reiki session. How are you today? I hope you're doing so wonderfully. And for those of you who are just meeting me, my name is Layla and I am a Reiki master and a philanthropist and I also practice Native American healing and Hawaiian shamanism and I love bringing the beautiful healing power and sounds of Mother Nature to you through these sessions as well as blessing you up with healing Reiki energy. So I have some special treats to share with you today that I'm so excited and one of them is uh, something that I've worked on for a very long time with my husband and I'm so happy to finally be sharing it with you all so we'll get into that shortly but as with every session I'm going to just be spending the first few minutes just really trying to clear and empty anything that's in the way of you really feeling fully at peace, fully in yourself, fully in your truth fully in this amazing wonderment that we get to be in in every moment of the day as this magical life unfolds for us and so I'll be taking some beautiful pine branches and wafting them through your field first to just kind of really brush aside anything that's been really in the way of you enjoying yourself during this time. So we have these beautiful large <laughs> pine wands that I'll be taking through your feet. And they're actually very soft, very, very soft. And so, as I'm doing this, it's a very soft sweeping and brushing aside anything that's in the way of you really living your best life from a perspective of understanding truth and love and how to really benefit. So next I'm just going to be taking these two beautiful pieces of wood and just swiping them through your field one final time to just clear up anything in the way, anything that's been creating fogginess in your mind 
or a lack of clarity, brain fog, anything that's in the way, or that's been... You can't get out of your head, just been kind of haunting you or irritating you to think about it. We'll use this beautiful wooden wand to just do a few swipes and bring it down to the earth, to give it to the earth. In Hawaiian shamanism, they call it hucha. You give the hucha to the earth and Mama Earth loves to take the hucha and transform it into love and bring it back up into you. So that's what we'll be doing with these wands. Beautiful. So I'm going to show you the fruit of the day early today because it's huge and it's actually starting to smell so strong and I feel like it needs to be opened and so I'm going to open it for you and this big hunker it's literally bigger than my face. It's so heavy. <laughs> you could work out with it. Um, but this is called a pomelo or a pomelo. It's a kind of citrus fruit that tastes a lot like a grapefruit, but it has a little bit sweeter of a flavor and a more floral essence. So I'm going to cut this big fruit open to show you the gorgeous inside and it's going to take me a minute so I'll be right back. <laughs> Maybe before I cut it I'll show you how water rich and beautiful it sounds. Fruit tapping. Has anyone discovered that yet? Fruit is so nice to tap on. And the flowers of these. Wow, when I was pregnant with my first couple of children, I lived in an orange and citrus grove and the flowers were some of the best flower scents I've ever smelled before and this was one of them, one of the most amazing smells I've ever smelled in my life. Look at this gorgeousness. Wow. It is otherworldly and just smells incredible. And I'm actually not going to try it because I think I'm going to juice it later. Um, but I can still show you up close this magnificence. It's so juicy. Oh my God. You just touch it and it just starts dripping. It has a big cavity in here, a big hole. <laughs> so, this is definitely a big enough grapefruit like situation to feed a family. 
for a whole village. <laughs> and it looks like a wheel, which is what leads me into the next surprise that I have to show you for this session. that I want to share with you is a book that I wrote with my beloved and we wrote it 10 years ago and it's a, a very some could say provocative book others could say enlightening or inspiring it depends what your perspective is but it's definitely a very interesting story. It's about our journey living in the jungle and having our first child alone and underneath the bamboo tree. And the whole book is about our ability to be at peace no matter what the external world presents to us and no matter what comes up or arises inside of us. So if we're having really intense emotions or if we have, you know, feelings that are kind of difficult to feel, it really points the way to what to do, how to drop the story or the narrative inside our head that's causing the discontent and how to come back to this place of peace and it's such a beautiful book and there were a few pieces in it that we needed to take out um, because I think they were a little bit too provocative <laughs> but uh, it's still a very enthralling book and we've actually revised it and put it up online as an ebook because we didn't want to sell the paperback copies anymore for environmental reasons but so the ebook is available and it's linked in the description if you want to read the whole book but i'm going to read this one little passage that was sparked by the wheel of the pomelo the the beautiful um you know wheel like picturesque that uh, the pomelo represents and this this writing that I'm going to share with you is actually a rendition of um, one of the uh, pages in the Tao Te Ching and um, it has always stood out to me and I'm a lover of all religions I think they're all so beautiful and this particular um, page when I read it just it opened my eyes and it changed my heart so it's a little bit of a translation of it that my husband and I did that we put at the beginning of the book so I'm gonna share that with you now I think this is one of the last physical copies available And that was me before I had any children about 12 years ago, maybe. The book is called Sunlight for a Rainbow. And it really is such a powerful story and the wisdom and the messages that are interwoven with the story are really life-changing. So if you're ready for change, then this is a good book. Or if you're just ready to read an interesting true story, 
then this is a really good book to read. So, at the beginning we put this beautiful um, rendition of the Tao Te Ching. And so I'll read it to you now. It says, many spokes meet at the wheel's center. The space for the axle gives its value. Clay molds into a cup. The void within makes it of worth. Walls and roof frame a house. The open door grants its use. Productivity results from what is seen, possibility from what is not seen. So I hope that that is impacting you and touching you the way that it did me. Just in the sense of, you know, really emptying ourselves to be of use and really seeing that it is when we can drop our stories and when we can get out of the personhood of life and really, you know, be this empty vessel, be just a receptive portal that we can be used for something that is just beyond this world that has never been created before and that brings so much benefit to all. So, I hope you enjoy this book so much of my heart and my husband's heart and our family's heart has been poured into this book and we now offer it to the world, the revised version and we hope that it brings so much joy and truth and understanding into your life. So now we're going to share these two crystals with you. Our sacred John of God crystal from Brazil and then this gorgeous Lemurian crystal. You can see the bridges it has and I will do a little bit more research on this. This is a brand new crystal that I received from a friend who has a stunning crystal shop in LA, which maybe I'll see if I can link it below if, if she has a website, but I need to learn a little bit more about these Lamarian crystals. But what I remember learning about it maybe about 15 years ago was that these ridges kind of carry codes. They carry the codes of a past civilization and the future humanity, and so they're really powerful stones for kind of, you know, bringing in this new perspective, this ancient perspective as well, and being able to really connect with our blueprint and with what we're here to create. So I'm going to be just spreading these through your field and just sending you Reiki for whatever you need right now. Reiki for you know, really serving you in your life right now. Reiki will go wherever it needs to go and will serve you in whatever way it needs to serve you. And we'll just be using these crystals to enhance that during this time. Just giving you exactly what you need in your journey right now. Wherever you need it. Taking some deep breaths while you're receiving. Receiving exactly what you need right now in this moment. Beautiful. Gonna do a little bit more 
at your crown and your mental field, just really re bringing back into the picture this ability that we human kind have to narrate, to make stories. And I'm just really going to be kind of adding some extra blessings that all of the stories that you create really bring greater joy, harmony, balance, and peace, not only to your own life, to, but also to this planet. Really smoothing out any stories and kind of shifting them gently into stories that are very, very efficient, productive, and exactly what you need to be able to create what you're here to create. You're doing a great job. Very great job. I want to just bring back in one piece that I have mentioned before that a beautiful Hawaiian elder has shared with myself and other women when we were sitting in a circle together. She said that humankind is called humankind for a reason and it's because we are kind. We are inherently kind. And so, so much of the book that I just showed you, Sunlight for a Rainbow, and so much of the story in there is about how can we really make our stories kind? How can we really create a space inside of us where the stories and the narrations and the beliefs and the thoughts that we think are our allies, bringing more kindness into our life, into our relationship with ourselves and others? And so, as I spray this beautiful water that's been infused with a little bit of grated pomelo skin to make it a citrus flavor, when I spray this through your field, I'm just really going to be sending blessings for bringing more kindness into the world. And it all starts with your beautiful mind and with the way that you receive and create with it. So, I'm going to spray both sides. Sometimes we don't know what we want or what we need and as we read in that beautiful writing around possibility coming from what is not seen, it kind of really brings to the surface that it's okay to not know and that that's actually a very pr productive place to be. It's a very effective place to be, a brilliant place to be, to be in the unknown and to just be open and available. 
So I'm sending you so many blessings that you're able to be comfortable in the unknown, be comfortable not knowing, and know that you're going to receive exactly what you need at the exact right time, no matter what. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. sweeping energy as our last little movement to send you on your way and to open you to receive exactly what you need on this day. expensive lays that they have on the island, so they're very special to find and to use. So this is for you to take with you on your day. And let's do one final Reiki blessing. giving you everything you need right now, opening you to receive what you need, exactly what you need. Blessings on this day and for now, aloha.